Welcome to What I Do. I'm Rob Melnicek. Joining me is Dr. Don Carmont, president of HRXL Associates and partner in Executive Coachworks. As an executive coach, Don holds an MA in management and a PhD in communications. He has helped more than 10,000 organizations over the past 15 years. Don, welcome to What I Do. Thank you, Rob. My pleasure. It's an honor to be with you. Don, the economic experts tell us that one of the last things to recover in any recession is job loss. And you have, through your own experience, developed a game plan in hard times. Explain that to us. Well, I've gone through the experience of significant loss 20 years ago. I won't go into the details of that. But the model that we're going to look at over these next three segments is called ASCEND. It's a, just an acronym that depicts six key behaviors and actions that a person can take. The first of which is to accept responsibility for where you are today and for your future. Then simplify, streamline your life and seed for the future. Connect with your passion, with your purpose in life. And then explore and expand every opportunity possible. Nurture your network and then dedicate yourself with discipline and drive to make it happen. Therefore, Don, as an executive coach with your model, can you tell us how God wants me to think relevant to His economy, especially during a downturn? The tendency, the natural human tendency in times like these is to immediately point the finger to blame. And when I blame others and I look externally, it's disempowering because I've surrendered control to the external world. It's first of all accepting responsibility by saying, I am where I am because of choices I've made. And that's not to say that the actions and behaviors and uh, that other people have engaged in has not informed or impacted where I am, but nonetheless, it's the choices I've made. And it's empowering to accept responsibility because the word responsibility means I have the ability to respond, which is totally different than reacting. But Don, what if I personally believe that God has led me to this particular place of employment? It's interesting because many people will believe that's the case. And somehow we've westernized our concept around what it means to be led of the Lord with the assumption that if God leads me somewhere, then the path is going to be that of prosperity, peace, and plenty, and happiness. But the scripture gives great evidence, not only in the life of our Lord, but Old Testament characters, New Testament saints, each of whom, the leading of the Lord, their lives didn't turn out to be a rosy pathway. There were lots of trials and tribulations and tests along the way. So if I accept the fact that I as a person have made certain choices, then actually how does that help me? It empowers in this respect that I'm no longer blaming. But when blame is internalized, it distills into a sense of shame and that's disempowering. When blame is externalized, I point the finger, I get angry at others, and in either case, I'm surrendering control to the situation and I'm not able to respond, but I'm in a reactive mode. So it's empowering to the individual to be able to say, I am where I am because of choices I've made and I now can choose my future. So if I'm angry or I'm pointing the finger, God in essence doesn't want me to react to a job loss because then it puts me in this blame category of those who I'm assuming have hurt me. Precisely and all of my energy is sapped away negatively towards the past. Blame sucks us seductively into the past. And I can't, there's no future in the past. I can't live in the past and at the same time be shaping my future. Don, the second letter in ASCEND is the S and it means to simplify and to streamline. So tell us, what steps can a person take to streamline and simplify their life when it comes to job loss? So the first step is to separate the nice to have from the need to have and begin to trim away the superfluous, the unnecessary, because many people will leverage their credit to support a lifestyle that, that is now well beyond their means and we're surrounded with stuff that no longer uh, de brings the pleasure we thought it would and we find ourselves swamped now with the payments necessary to, to pay off the debts. And so it's giving it, give it away. Part of simplifying and streamlining is the opportunity to seed for the future by giving to others. Now, you mentioned seed for the future, but if many people can't or think they can't seed for the future because presently they're financially strapped, then what do they do? You know, one of the best Christmases I ever had is when I had nothing. I had no money to buy gifts and I gave out of the limited store that I have. Everything, all my possessions in those days, I was able to get in a small U-Haul trailer. 
but I gave gifts from the stuff that I had. And all of us have stuff that we can give to others, people that are more needy. If you're out of stuff, you can now give your time, your talent, your service as a volunteer. There's hundreds of organizations that can use volunteer services. And so we can always seed in some way by giving. And when we do, we're seeding our future and planting seeds that will come to fruition and harvest someday. Now you also mentioned in your article this term closure. How does closure within this topic of streamlining and simplifying your life fit into the big picture? It all has to do with recognizing that there's a lot of clutter surrounding our lives, sometimes in entanglements that are not healthy. And so it's gaining closure in relationships that are fractured or fragmented in the past. Somebody whose forgiveness you need to seek. Go to that person, gain closure by asking forgiveness. Somebody to whom you need to grant forgiveness, forgive that person. And all of this tends to close off those black holes that suck our energy and stress us out and dissipate our focus from being able to really concentrate on building for tomorrow. So in essence, it's forgiving those whom we assume have hurt us when it comes to job loss. Absolutely. Don, thank you so much for joining us on What I Do. If you'd like a free download of Don's complete article, How to Ascend During a Downturn, or a free complete copy of Don's latest book entitled The Naked Mentor, visit his website at drcarmont.com. Thanks for watching What I Do.